Hello everyone, this is Emp, welcoming you to a RenPy tutorial. This tutorial is entitled RenPy, how the hell do I use it? So the first thing you need to do if you want to make a visual novel and would like to try RenPy is to download it. You can get it at RenPy.org and then you hit the download latest version and then you choose which one to download based on your operating system. Now I already downloaded it because uh, it takes a few minutes, so I didn't want to make you guys watch that. I've got it right here. So mine self-extracts. And then RenPy is ready to run. You can just go into the folder and you see where it says application right here by the, uh, the type here. That's what you click on. So this is what the RenPy launcher screen looks like. I obviously have a lot of things in my projects, but that's okay. You don't have to. What you really need to have is what comes with it, which is these down here, the tutorial and the question. Now this tutorial is something you can launch and play, and it will show you examples of how to do different things with code. The question is an example visual novel that also shows you some basics of how to do coding. But let's say we want to take a look at, let's say we want to make a new project. So I'm going to say create new project right here. We're going to choose our GUI. Now we can use either the new GUI interface or the legacy GUI interface. Uh, if you don't know which one to choose, and especially if you're very new, I'd recommend the new one. So let's do that. And we clicked on that and we'll say continue. I'm gonna call it my VN, my visual novel. And you can choose whatever size you want. You can also choose whatever color you want. This shows you a preview of how it's gonna look. Uh, but don't worry too much about choosing this because you can always change them later. So now we're going to create the new project. And there it is, my VN. Now if we want to run my VN, we're going to launch the project. And it will show up looking like this. It says the title of it and the version number. And you can hit start. And this is what you are given by default. It has hello world and then has someone named Eileen speaking. And that's it. That's it for the game. Now let's talk about actually being able to change the scripts themselves. So if we say open all script files, you have to select your editor at first. Um, I personally use the system editor, which gives me Sublime. You can use edit, you can use JEdit, that's fine. You can use Editra, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to use JEdit for the moment because it's. I already downloaded the update, or at least I thought I did, and it it has some nice syntax highlighting. Um, you can always change this later in your preferences, which I will show you as soon as this finishes. And you can basically, if you're going to do the system editor and you want to have a custom text editor like Notepad++, which I would not recommend because it's horrible with Python uh, and indentation, it has issues with that. So I wouldn't recommend Notepad++, but I like Sublime. And I've heard at good things about Atom. And those are, as far as I know, both free. So that should be able to do it. So here I'm opening JEdit. It's got my script. It's got my screens, which we don't need to look at yet. Those are all defined for you already. It's got my options where I can do things like change the name of the VN or change the version number. I can make an about. If I say, oh, hi, this is an about section. 
Let's see where that actually shows up when we launch the project. It shows up when you look at the about. Oh, hi, this is an about section. And then they added some extra stuff on here talking about what RenPy is. So cool. So if you want, the first thing you want to do when you make, are going to start actually trying to make some changes is work with the script here. We have a character Eileen here. We have label start. This is where the game actually starts. We have some scenes and some showing and we have some dialogue. You may recognize this dialogue from when I actually ran the game itself. It said, hello world. And then Eileen said something. And then Eileen said something again. And then we were done. We returned back to the beginning. So you can see there's a direct correlation between what's in this file right here and what is on the screen when you run it. So you can change things you want, if, however you want. Like if I'm going to put a, the end here, And then I run it. There's my the end. So you can immediately see any changes you've made. You can go ahead and add whatever story you want in there. And in future tutorials, I'll talk about how you do things like showing things images, scenes, menus, all that jazz. But this is just how you're going to use Pi, uh, RenPy itself. So one more thing before I end, you have a few little options down here. You can do update, which you don't need to do right now because we just downloaded the latest. You can do preferences. You can change things here. You can change your language. You can change what actions happen. You can change these things right here. You can change your projects directory, where in your projects directory, uh, where in your computer it looks for your projects. And you can change your text editor. So if I change that, it goes back to there and I can make it something else if I want. So you have a lot of options and then we can return. And if you want to actually distribute your game, you would go to build distributions and you would choose which ones you want to build for. And you would go ahead and say build. And I'm not going to do that because it takes a long time, but that's, that's what it, that's how you do it. That's how you make a basic visual novel. It's actually really simple. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. And I hope you give RenPy a good chance because it's really something special.